It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, and he is Bruce This Hall. is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Ready. You ready to fight? Alright, so we'll have the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Single collar tie now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, nice jab. 
And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Now he touches him with the left. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent for trending the take now, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get the fight to the ground. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to that was the right time. Nice kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, come on. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Nice leg kick lands. All oh, collar tie. And they separate. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice straight punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Body attack and it's blocked. And they separate. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Big punch land. Good sequence there, the right hand followed by the left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You gotta figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Whiffs on the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. That was a nice strike. And they separate. Oh, pinpoint jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's going to be easier for him to counter than his opponent. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Battling for hooks. Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by Lee. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy oh. landing that kick. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. 
All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's supposed That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponents not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Punch over the top. Just a slip there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Flips the punch nicely there. Got the single collar tie. Went for the inside leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Just misses there with the left. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. And they separate. Nice. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He can never be a stationary target, so even at the... Oh! He's got him! He's got him! He's got him right here! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Oh, nice. Spinning bad fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under a minute to go. All right, rubber guard now, DC. Some submissions at his disposal if he so cheap. Oh! Oh, he might have got him with a choke. his mouth. 20 seconds to go round two. Lands with the grounded pound here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. In the books. Stop, stop, stop. 
right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is now underway. Previous right. round, not necessarily right. a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. What a body kick. Missed with that attempt. Ooh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Oh, spinning back fist. Slips the punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Misses on the uppercut there. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Beautiful strike. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Okay. Combinations here. And just Yeah, he's hurt really bad. to go in the round. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds, because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position 
it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And he's out. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push it away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Both fighters back to their feet now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he goes. Looks like, like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Great punch. Big knee to the body. Oh! Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. We march on three minutes to go. Back to the feet now. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.